Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Wednesday, February 24th, and welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Hanin. Yes, we're still celebrating Palindrome Week, but today is day 22422. It's still the same backward and forward. I'm Ava, and let's all unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over her heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. Thank you and please be seated. Another reminder to check final forms for your scheduling information for next school year. Did you know, on this day in 2020, the scientists identified the first animal that does not need oxygen to breathe, a tiny parasite living in salmon tissue, reported in journal PNAS. What? Doesn't every living thing need oxygen to breathe? No, not the tiny parasite that lives in salmon tissue according to a report in the journal PNAS which is the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Wow, I wonder what will be discovered next. Also, it is National Engineering Week. If you are interested in pursuing an engineering career by competing with the FIRST Robotics Community, see or email Mrs. Jarvis in room 221. It's also National Trading Card Day. Trading cards have probably been part of everyone's life at some point. Such as sports cards or Pokemon cards, many are available worldwide. Enjoy today and maybe take out an old deck you might have. Revisit memories. Now for the fact of the day. The tallest building in the world is 2,717 feet tall. The, Bur the Burj Khalifa. Wow, that's only a little bit taller than me. Today's daily survey. First, out of everyone who did the survey yesterday, the majority of you are taking choir this year. And don't forget to check out today's daily survey posted in Google Classroom. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to students Eva B, Braden F, Elijah R, and Labriel R. We wish you a great and wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to our wonderful, wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. All right, same announcement I've been saying all week. The kids have been saying all week. By the way, you guys have been doing a great job. If you're a seventh grader and would like to be in choir and weren't in choir this year, all right, you can do that. You can try choir. You need to see Mrs. Stein or Mr. Callahan before your course selectors are due to find out more information. All right, it's been a lot of fun this month presenting these Black History Month announcements. All right, but we have a late breaking announcement, all right, from the counselors. All students, do not forget to do your online scheduling. All instructions and your username and password were sent to your school email, so you probably need to check that. You need to complete this no later than Sunday evening. Eighth grade students, if you have issues with online scheduling, you're going to be meeting with your counselors next week in your social studies classes, and you can fix it at that time. You, this will also help an answer any of your counseling questions. Seventh grade students, if you have questions or need help with the online scheduling, please reach out to your counselor for assistance. So that's our last minute late breaking announcement there. All right, our black history highlight. Today we're highlighting Ida B. Wells. She lived from 1862 to 1931, and she was a reporter and civil rights crusader. Uh, it's too bad there isn't more crossover between journalism and the practice of writing comics, because if there was, surely Ida B. Wells would be rendered with a superhero's cape by now. Known as the Sword Among Lions, Ida faced down threats of death and torture for bringing international attention, not to mention shame, to the lynch mob terror that afflicted post-Reconstruction black communities in the United States. Documenting the epidemic of lynching was miserable, disheartening work, but Wells also found time to advocate for the suffrage and civil rights of black women like herself. She wasn't much concerned about being polite about it either. For her troubles, black men criticized her for being unladylike and the New York Times labeled her as slanderous. Still, Wells rep rose to represent the best of the American journalistic tradition. And in doing so, wasn't just an advocate for those most afflicted and least comfortable, but a defender and a protector of democracy, justice, and freedom for all. She dared America to confront its hypocrisies head on and live up to the ideals upon which it was founded. Wells was spurred to raise the alarm about lynching after three of her friends were murdered by a Memphis, Tennessee mob in 1892. She lives on, in black women who not only exercise their right to vote, but take it upon themselves to run for office. Wells herself ran for a seat in the Illinois State Senate. She lives in the words and deeds of the NAACP, which she co-founded, 
and in the practice of feminism itself. So a shout out to Ida B. Wells, journalistic warrior and civil rights crusader. Hey, that's it for me today, guys. You have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Now we have a message from Mr. Labrachon. Good morning, Sycamore Junior High. I hope you guys are having a great day. I have two quick announcements. First, during fifth bell, the recess, the locker rooms, boys and girls in the area of the new and old gym will be locked. They are unable to be manned for supervision, so we are going to lock them to make sure all students are safe. If you need to use the restroom, please do so by the cafeteria before getting your lunch and going over to the wrestling room or before you go outside for recess. This will be particularly important during those days we have indoor recess. Again, fifth bell, the locker rooms will be locked and closed. Second thing, breakfast in the morning. There are two locations to get breakfast. The first location is by the gyms. Those that area, excuse me, is for bus riders. Anyone who rides a bus, whether you're the first bus at 7.40 or the last bus at 7.52, that is where you need to get breakfast in the morning. Everything there is all you need. Go down the stairs, in the door, to the kiosk, get your breakfast, and on to your first bell. The other location in the cafeteria, that is for car riders bikers and walkers only, especially since our car riders come right into the cafeteria. If you are a bus rider, you have no reason to go to the cafeteria for breakfast. Your area is by the gym. We appreciate this. We're trying to solve some problems and we appreciate your cooperation. Have a great day. What's for lunch today? For lunch today, we will serve chicken and waffle sticks. We will also have chicken patties. Now for the joke of the day. What do you call LeBron James when he gets third place? What? LeBron's James. <laughs> Go Waves!